Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 10 of the Autodesk Maya 2017 training series. So what we're going to do today is we're going to uh, model a rocket uh, uh, using nerves in Maya. So it's a very simple exercise. I already got my rocket out of Google Images right here. And then I'm going to go, um, I actually pay, place it on my tutorial project folder inside of the source images as before. So here's my rocket right here. So what I want to do is I want to use this as a reference. So usually when you're uh, designing complex models, you don't actually design it directly in Maya. What you actually do is you take this as a reference and then design it accordingly. So what I, I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my Maya and I want to keep the reference image over here. So in order to, uh, for me to keep the reference image, I'm going to go on to my front view because that is what my uh, reference image is on. So I'm going to go to view uh, over here on this section, go to image plane and then go to import image right here. So click on import image. And once you do that, you actually open up into source image. Okay, so uh, first of all, I need to set the project because that's something I forgot to do. So I need to set the project first before because later on it might create problems. So I always need to set the project before I uh, start my project. So I chose my tutorial project folder, press set. All right, now I'm going to go over uh, and save this file. So let's save scene as this is gonna be my Rocket01. All right, so it's opening up. Okay, so I'm gonna save this as Maya binary, that's fine. So Rocket01 will, what I save, uh, will save this as, so save as, and it's gonna save that. All right, so I'm gonna go to view, and I'm gonna go to image plane, and import image right here. So once I go to import image, you'll see that there's the uh, rocket model out there. So it's opening up and it's over here. All right, let's just open this out. And once you open it, you can see that my image is here. I want this image to be at the top of the baseline. So this is the baseline. So I want this to be right about here. All right, I can resize this if I want to as well. So let me uh, make this a bit bigger because I want a very big rocket. All right, and then move this to the top, just like that. All right. So I'm going to use uh, this as a reference point. So there's the color gain of this image right here. I'm going to reduce that out because I want to uh, make some transparency over there so that I can see what I'm going to trace right here. So you can see that now this is dark and good. So I want to uh, use the revolve tool on my uh, tools to actually make this model. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this one. Okay, so grab the curved surfaces and then draw the halfway through the rocket. So just click and roughly get the same shape as the rocket. Okay. Click there, click there, click there, click there, click there, and that's done. So press enter. There you go. I got the curved surfaces. So let me go over to this section. So on my Y axis, I want to rotate this out. That is revolve this out. So I'm going to go into my, um, surfaces and revolve this out into y-axis that's fine so let's make sure that the sweep angle is 0 and 360 uh, so that it does not just draw the half uh, nerve over there so just revolve it out and there you go turn the lighting to two-sided lighting and there you go i got my rocket base so what i want to do now is i want to turn the two-sided lighting here as well so what i want to do now is i want to use layers in order to hide this so we haven't used uh, layers till now. So in order to use the layers, let's go to channel box editor over here. I want to keep this in a layer. This is just similar to Photoshop layer. So I want to uh, select this, click on the right side icon right here. So it creates a layer for this object right here. So if I were to press the V, then it actually turns the object on and off, which is quite handy if I want to make models like this. So we're going to use this uh, in this modeling technique right here. All right, there you go. So I hidden it out and I want to make the other parts of the rocket now. All right, so go to the front side. All right, so what I want to do is I want to delete this out uh, because I already got my body. I do not want to modify it further. If I want to modify it, then I can make it. So I'm going to grab this over here to the top. Just drag this along the line again, just like this. And I want this to go a bit further in. All right, then revolve this out again. So let's revolve this out again. So let's go to uh, surfaces and revolve. So since I it's on my Y axis, I don't actually need to make any changes. So let's turn this on and there you go. I got my revolve thing right there. 
All right, so maybe this is coming a bit outwards, so I want to adjust this a bit. So I'm gonna grab the uh, line just like that and go to control vertices and then go inside just like that. All right, there you go. And that's how you actually make some adjustment. All right, so that's what I want. So I'm gonna select this out as well, create a new layer, hide this out, uh, hide this out as well, and then select this part over here and delete it out. All right, so I can enable and disable just like this. Okay, there you go. So onto the side, now at the bottom, over here in the section, I'm gonna do the same. So let's just select this out, click, click, uh, click on this part, click, click, and wait, control Z, 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 click, click, and inside, wait. Okay, I need to add more divisions because it's not getting the curve I want. All right, there you go, and that's it. So I want to revolve this out as well. So let's go for surfaces and revolve. There you go, that's the revolve part of my, uh, uh, okay, there you go. So that's fine. Maybe I want to make some adjustments. I guess it's not really that necessary over here. So I'm just gonna create a new layer for this. So create a new layer and then hide the visibility. All right, there you go. So let's select the uh, curve surfaces, delete it out. Okay, there you go. So I got the basic part of my rocket. So I got all of these right here. So I got all of my body parts completed. We're going to window in a bit of while. And for the uh, stance right here, I wanna use the low setting that we used actually on the last lesson. So let me just uh, draw a circular area right here. So what I want to do is I wanna draw a circle just like this, all right? And then I'm gonna go to control vertices and then drag this out and then I'm gonna resize this just like this. So press F, all right, then resize this out just like this because I want this to be flat, all right. So what I want to do is I want to uh, place this just uh, above it. So just go to the bottom just like this and press F, all right, and then uh, press Shift D and then grab this to the top, increase this in size, all right, and then rotate this out. Okay, there you go. There's my uh, shape right there. Maybe I want to keep this right over here to match the sides. Press Shift D again, drag this to the top, rotate this around. I just want to make sure that I get the rotation right as well so that it actually rotates along the path that I'm going to trace. So increase this in size again. Okay, then move it to the side. All right, there you go. Press Shift D, drag it to the top, rotate this out again and then increase this in size and then move it along the path again, just like that, all right. Then I'm gonna press Shift D again, move it to the side, rotate this around just like this and then move it along the path and increase this in size again, just like this. Press Shift D again and then move it along the path, uh, rotate this around, okay, there you go and then increase this in path just like this. Okay, there you go. And then move it to the side just like this. Okay, press Shift D again and then go inside. Okay, so I'm gonna select this in order. Now press this one first, select this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. And I'm gonna finally loaf this out. So go to surfaces and loaf it out, all right? So I wanna make a few adjustments over here. So it's looking quite crooked right there. I'm gonna select this out, just select the areas, so just make sure that it's <clears throat> very smooth at the end. All right, sorry for that. So just select this out, make this a bit smooth. All right, there you go. Maybe I want this kind of a design, it kind of looks cool, all right? So just grab this out and there you go, that's the design right there. So just grab this out onto the top. Let me just select this out, drag this onto the top and to the side. All right, there you go, so that's how my stand actually works out. So I'm gonna create a new layer for this because I'll create a new layer, delete this out, and then delete this out as well. So turn this on. All right, there you go. So that is how my things work. So I got my shape right here. So I'm gonna go to the top. Let me just create four duplicates of this. So let me go for rotate shift D, drag this to the side. Let's go minus 90 right there. Press shift D, shift D, and there you go. I got my four clusters right there. All right, there you go. So I got my stand as well. Now for the windows. Okay, now for the windows. So let me just uh, create a new layer for, okay, uh, since it's on the same layer, you can see that I copy pasted this out and it's on the same layer. So I can actually hide that out as well. 
For this one, what I want to do is I need to project my surface curve. So I actually need to pro, uh, need a hole on this shape only. All right, so I'm going to do that. So I'm going to go to the side, to the side view. Let's first go to the side view. And since this is circular, I'm going to grab my circular disk right here and then increase the size. So this is my window size, which I want the hole on. So I'm going to move this to the top just like this. Okay, so this is the whole size and then go to the side move this to the front and then on this shape out just like this okay on the body shape all right so go to the side just like this select onto the shape let me turn on the two-sided lighting over here and then i'm going to select the shape right here select this one out as well then i'm going to project curve to the surface so i'm going to go to curves so project curves so let me see where that is so let's go to surfaces project curve on surface there you go so i need to select the curve and the surface and then project curve on surface where you go okay there you go that's the project curve on surface and you can see that it actually projects the curve on surface once i do that so if i were to move the curve you can see that it moves along the surface so well, that's kind of neat so what i want to do is i want to delete this part out not this part out as you can see that the project curve surface actually comes up at the back side as well so i need to trim this so in order to trim this let me go to surfaces let me see that's the trim tool so what it actually does is it uh, wireframes out my view. So I need to click on the parts which I want to keep. So I want to delete this, so I'm not going to click on this. So I'm going to click on this part. So that's, uh, that's what I'm going to keep. And I'm going to keep the back part. And I'm just going to press enter. And there you go, I got my uh, hole right there. So if I were to move this out, the hole is actually dynamic. So un until I delete my history, it'll actually do, uh, be like this. So I'm going to go to Delete all by type in history, and once I do that, you can see that now it doesn't work anymore. All right, so anyways, I got my uh, window thrusters. So what I want to do is, for the window, I can use a planer later on, but for now, I want to create the ring around the shape. So let's see how the ring around the shape is actually working out. So I'm gonna uh, hide this out. So ring around the shape, let me see how this actually works. So let's go to the side uh, over here onto the side view, all right. So I'm going to select this shape right here, press F, and over here on this section, I want to create a ring at the side. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use a tool called Extrude. So in, um, in my Extrude option, so you can see that it's right on the ring. In my Extrude option, I'm going to select uh, the main shape first and then the other shape. Uh, what happens is it, it is quite different from the polygonal Extrude, which allows you to extrude the faces. So if I were to use extrude over here, you can see that it actually creates a ring along the surfaces. So I have to first select the shape which I want to extrude and then the type of shape I want to extrude it onto. So I can even give it a design. For example, I can choose this, use control vertices as always, and then give it a bit of a design that I want. So this is what I want. Uh, and this you can see that it is actually interesting. So turn on the faces just like this and then move this to the side. Okay, so you go for center pivot. All right, go for center pivot and move this inward just like that. Maybe I want to adjust this a bit. All right, adjust it a bit from the front side, from the side, press F. Uh, move it to the side just like this. All right, there you go. And then move it. Uh, let's just rotate this out. And I want to create some curve on this. So create control vertices and then move it to the side just like this and create control vertices move it to the side just like that all right there you go so i'm gonna go for planar now let me just save this out just like that uh, because i don't want to lose my file so i'm gonna go for my planar all right that's for the glass so move this in a bit so move this uh let me go for center pivot right here so let me go for center pivot move this in just like that press f and then I'm going to go for control vertices uh, and then drag out these. All right. So drag out these to the front, just like this. Uh, drag out this inward. All right. Drag out this inward and drag this one out a bit outward, just like that. All right. There you go. So uh, I can delete this object now because I don't need it anymore. So delete that out and then turn on everything else just like that. And press Control S. Okay, save that out. I got my rocket already now. So all I need to do now is color this out. So I'm going to select the image plane and then just delete that out because I don't need that anymore. All right. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in blend to all of this. So blend is my favorite material because it's shiny. I love shiny stuff. All right. Anyways, so assign new material to this, assign blend onto this. And then I'm gonna make sure that the specular color is totally white and the reflectability uh, is uh, totally on. And I wanna make sure that the color of this is red. Okay, so that looks shiny. I'm gonna use the same color over here. So let me just go over here to the blend. Let me just say that this is red blend. Okay, and I'm gonna select this to onto uh, assign new material, assign existing material, red blend. Okay, I'm gonna do the same for the rim over here. So just go over here. Red ring. Okay, that's it. So assign new material for this as well. So I'm going to go for my selection tool, select the object right here, object mode. Okay, there you go. Assign new material, assign a blend to this. I'm going to assign a glass-like texture to this. All right, so where you go? This is the glass-like texture. Decrease the transparency a bit. All right, there you go. It doesn't really make a difference though. Uh, increase the specular color, uh, reflectivity, uh, and then I'm going to increase the, uh, that's it. I guess that's fine. So that's quite reflective. Uh, I'm going to use the red one over here as well as assign existing material and red blend. Assign exist new material over here. And I'm going to go for blend over here and increase this in size just like that. All right, there you go. So that's how you actually create a rocket inside of Maya. And as you can see that you can actually create uh, very good models by using uh, blend, by using uh, nerves in Maya. So Designing a nerves is not straightforward, but it can get the job done pretty quick. So this is how you design a quick rocket inside Maya. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.